So we always get caught up in PCI Express lanes and speed and bandwidth and the idea of our graphics card saturating all of that. But I've talked about for years now that data and data storage, that is where we can saturate our PCIe lanes. Now we talked about PCIe Gen 3 drives, uh, NVMe drives, which have a 3500 megabyte like read speed. Gen 4 drives that have a 7,000 megabytes per, or we're talking seven gigabytes per second read speed. Well, these bad boys just arrived. These are the new Crucial T700 Pro Series. They're a Gen 5 drive. And yeah, you're reading that right. 12,400 megabytes per second. The too long didn't watch. If you're still on a SATA SSD that is uh, limited to 540 megabytes per second through SATA 6, it's time to upgrade. The Kraken Series AIOs from NZXT come in many shapes and sizes to fit your CPU needs. The Kraken Elite Series RGB coolers feature a 2.36 inch 640 by 640 customizable LCD screen, showing system info or custom images and GIFs for a custom look. F Series RGB fans and a single breakout cable for simplified installation. If low key is more your thing, the Kraken Elite Series also comes in a black non RGB edition while retaining the amazing pump screen. To see the full lineup of new Kraken Elite and non Elite coolers from NZXT, follow the link in the description below. So we're huge fans of Crucial. Obviously Crucial is Micron. Uh, Micron is the supplier for so many of the NAND when it comes to storage drives. Um, it's unfortunate too that you have to cover them up. They're so pretty. Like, the <laughs> and what I mean by cover them up, they need to be cooled. I mean, obviously with this kind of read write speed, they need to be cool, but look at this. This is a, so the sticker is actually a copper plate. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a metal copper plate, which is designed to give you proper transfer from the NAND and the controller through the sticker into your heat sink or whatever cover you're using on your motherboard is. So I just want to point that out. Like people often will rip these off. No, these are, these are actually thermal transfer. They're designed to transfer temperature. Um, this is a two terabyte version right here. So it's actually got some it's got a couple chips on the back. So it is double-sided, which is surprising because two terabytes um, typically will fit on one side, but this one is double-sided. We even have a four terabyte model right here. And what I love about this is they're advertising the four terabytes still gets you the 12,400. Typically the larger the drive, um, sometimes it's slower. Now, obviously the, as the drive fills up, it's going to slow down and that's only because of trading cache. So there is a cache NAND on the drive directly that the SSD can access to, you know, for more commonly used files, it'll store it in the cache, and then you have cache access, which is way faster than going to the NAND itself. What the heck just made noise? Anyway, that's what I digress. Um, so the larger the drive, obviously, it can slow down the fuller it gets, actually any drive, the fuller it gets, the more it slows down, simply because of the fact that it has to constantly swap to the cache. The uh, other one here, so the T700 also is available with a heat sink. Now, as you can see, this one doesn't have a heat sink or anything with it. Um, this is gonna be useful if you have a system for whatever reason, doesn't have like a cover. So right now I have two of these drives installed underneath the graphics card right here. And this has, this big piece of metal is actually, oh, that's warm. I will be installing hardware monitor to check the drive speed. That is very warm. <laughs> and they are not being read right right now. They are just on. So that's the other thing I wanted to talk about is as the speed increases, so does the temperature. So if you don't have a heat sink on it, you're gonna throttle the drive pretty quickly. Uh, I, I can't think of a Gen 5 PCI motherboard that won't have some sort of a built-in heat sink, but look at the beefiness of this guy. <laughs> I can't even test it if I wanted to without this, like with this, because it'll interfere with my graphics card and this is a 7950X 3D, and I'm using this specifically because lanes, the amount of lanes available to the CPU and the PCI Express matter. And we all know AMD has way more PCI Express lanes than Intel does, so I wanted to test this, but I can't use their SSD because it won't fit, it'll interfere with the graphics card. That's unfortunate. So I have two of the two terabyte drives installed, as you can see. Um, and they're not doing anything. They're just sitting here in the system. Oh no, these are the two new drives right here. I only got 55, 55, and then the system drive is at 44. So clearly they're warmer, but I wonder if that's because I have two drives sharing that heat sink. They're both touching it, so it's just a little bit more saturation. Now we've done videos before, we've tested SSD cooling, and we found that typically the controller doesn't really start to slow down until they exceed like 70C. Um, <clears throat> I don't, temperature, drives are very temperature sensitive. Now obviously we have a graphics card right on top of it. 
that can't be helping the situation. So one of the things I'm gonna try as we test this too is I'm gonna blow a fan at it. Just put, plug a fan in, plug it in so we have some airflow there and see what happens. So let's go ahead and just kind of test um, transfer speed from a Gen 4 drive. So my system drive in here is also a crucial drive. It's a Gen 4, which means we're looking at 7,000 megabytes per second max read speed, but the write speed is always slower than the read speed. The, the write speed on this is gonna be more like 6,000 megabytes per second, maybe even as low as 5,400 megabytes per second. So I'm gonna copy this folder right here, which is 34.3 gigabytes worth of Jay's Two Cents nonsense. It's just, it's just export videos, as you can see, they're right there. So I'm gonna copy this right over to that drive. Okay, so as you can see, we are copying right now at two gigabytes a second. Now, part of this is gonna be limited by the Gen 4 drive. So what I'm also gonna do after we move, do this is I'm gonna move that file from one Gen 5 to another Gen 5 to compare the speeds. But we're done already, that's, that's pretty fast. Our drive did hit 60C, as you can see. It went from 55 to 60, we're at 66 on the right drive. Now we're at 66 on both. It's kind of a, a real scenario if we were just moving files around. So we're at 68C now on both. I wanna point out we're in a fairly cool room here. Now one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Crystal Disk Mark in a moment to see uh, where the temperature caps off. How does this feel now? Holy cow. That's like touching the GPU die. <laughs> That's very hot. Fail. I just want you to touch that SSD cover. Oh wow, hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, ah, like <laughs> anyway, here after doing all those tests is what the drive covers look like. It's gonna adjust, there we go, look at that. The cover itself is 70C. So this is how the performance was for read write. And the first thing this indicated to me is like, these are gen four speeds. And then I looked into the manual for our, our X670E Tai Chi and realized they have one blazing M.2 gen five by four drive, and then two hyper M.2 gen four by four drives, or slots. So that means my gen four drive, which is my OS drive, is sitting in the gen five. So what I need to do right now is I need to switch the drive, I need to power down the system, put the drive up here in the blazing drive, and then put my OS down in one of the gen four drives, switch my boot drive, come back in, do this test again. All right, so a couple of things. One, I suspect that test I ran a second ago um, was actually on the main system drive, which is a Gen 4 drive. But what I also did was I swapped the, um, so this motherboard has, I already said this, right? I already said the blazing stuff. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I've taken the Gen 5 drive and put it up in the Gen 5 blazing spot. The temperature's actually improved a little bit. Um, they dropped down to a max of 72, but as you can see right now with crystal disk mark going right now, <laughs> 12,339 on the read, and that's obviously on the large files, and then as the files get smaller, it slows down because it's having to seek and find those files. Right now on the write speeds, we'll see what the realistic write is. I'm curious about that because this is just seven, what, 60 megabytes slower than advertised. That's all within margin of error, but I wanna know what the read speed is gonna be on the Gen 5. I'm just a little disappointed that there's only one Gen 5 slot in this particular motherboard, so I think you really need to pay attention to the specs of your motherboard because some motherboards, if you have a fast drive and a slow drive in there, sometimes if the M.2s are only going through the chipset and you don't have a single drive also going direct to CPU, which is what this board has, then what you'll find is, holy cow, it wrote at 11,800. <laughs> okay, that's pretty nuts right there. Anyway. What I was saying is sometimes if the drives all have to go through the chipset, then what you'll find is that it will slow down everything to the slowest uh, gen drive. So if it's a gen four, gen four speeds, even for a gen five drive. So pay attention to your motherboard arrangements and layouts. Also too, if you don't have a latest gen, gen five motherboard, there's no point in buying a gen five drive. But what I wanna do too is, oh yeah, it's hitting 77C right now. So we're hitting the same temp, even though it's up here with only one drive now underneath that cover, I still have to run the same test with the fans going. But even at this speed, oh, there's 80, it finally hit 80. But even at this speed, it's still going pretty fast. And uh, it's just about finishing up the test, there we go. So as you can see right there, sequential, 
12,339 read with 11,820 writes. Um, obviously the file sizes as they get smaller, it slows down, but look at this, this is insane. Like it is absolutely insane how fast this drive is. Now it did cap out at 80C and as soon as the test was done, it cooled back down to 60. It was at 61 and it's at 60. I wanna plop a fan on here real quick. I don't think we're, think we're gonna see any speed improvement by slowing it down. The question's gonna be is how long are you loading the drive? Now if the drive starts to get too hot, it will start to throttle. That is just the way it works. So let me throw a fan on there real quick and see if it improves at all. I doubt it because we're getting the advertised speeds. All right, so I have my fan now pointing down at that cover. Granted, the heat sink would probably be best here, but I'm just pointing at that cover now to see if some airflow over it. Yeah, and I can touch it. The drive is currently at 47C. You can see we haven't reset the system or anything. I'm now gonna rerun this test right here. I wanna see what the initial temperature spike is. Really? Look at the activity now, 99.6%, it's 96%. Remember the previous test, it was down in like the 60, 70% before it, when it was on Gen 4, because that shows the controller for Gen 4 clearly just wasn't able to push the drive to its max. Now it can. <clears throat> now we're at 60C. Whereas last time it pushed it to 70, like nearly immediately. So as you can see, airflow clearly matters on the drive. 55C. We're not gaining any speed, but we're just gaining better, I think, in my opinion, drive health, temperatures. You know, degradation in temps can be a thing, but obviously it's designed to operate within a certain range of temperature. Anyway, gonna get out of here. I just thought I would share this. This is my first time taking a look at a Gen 5 drive. This is like, this just sucks because this makes me now wanna update the drives in my rig at home. But unless I'm gonna clone my drive and then go through all, pulling out all the water loop and stuff so I can switch the drives out, now I have FOMO. A fear of missing out on speed I'm not gonna use anyway. I just wanna know I have it there. This is what elitism looks like, guys. Thanks for watching.